Hello and welcome to Money Markets and More with me, Dominic Frisby. Today's piece is called How to Invest in Georgia. Very quickly before we start, my usual don't forget my book, Life After the State, my first book written in 2013, many people's favourite, is now back in print. I recommend the audio book winky face i'll put a link in the description and if you're in the scottish neck of the woods this august look out for my show at the edinburgh festival my lecture with funny bits all about the history of mining in given in the room in which adam smith wrote wealth of nations Ooh, how exciting it's at 2 p.m every afternoon and i'll put a link to tickets in the comments so about a fortnight ago, I attended the inaugural Weird Shit Investment Conference in London, organised by the legendary Sven Lawrence. And I heard about 25 presentations throughout the day offering left field investment ideas, ranging from banks in Kazakhstan to Madagascan hot dog stands. And not one, but two of the presentations made the case that we should be investing in Georgia. And so that's what I'm going to look at today how to play the rise of the Switzerland of the Caucasus. So Georgia sits in a strategically enviable location on the Black Sea from where it looks west to Europe, and Georgia's actually applied to join the EU, but also east to Asia. And it lies on the Silk Road, the trading route to China. And indeed, there are also rumours it may join the Shanghai Cooperation Organisation, the SCO. And to be a member of both the EU and the SCO would be quite something. It has a young, small, proud and ambitious and well-educated population of just 3.7 million people, 85% of whom are Christian Orthodox and another 11% Muslim. About 35% live in the capital and the largest city, Tbilisi, and like so many former Soviet nations, they want everything we have in the West and more, and they are prepared to work hard to get it. And while the older generation mostly has Russian as a second language, the more westernised younger folk tend to speak English, French or German, or all three. And one of the presenters described Georgia's education as mathematically and scientifically orientated. And that's a legacy of Russian occupation. The country is a representative democracy. And Georgia's dark days of post-Soviet Union corruption mostly seem to be behind it. And in 2008, the World Bank dumped it the number one economic reformer in the world, after it went in just a year from 112th to 18th ranked nation for ease of doing business. It now sits in sixth in said rankings with high levels of economic freedom. Back in 2018, for example, it became only the second country in the world to legalise marijuana, and it's one of the fastest growing economies in Eastern Europe. Taxes at around 20% are on the low side, and one of the means by which it eliminated corruption, um, as well as sacking the entire police force, really, uh, was by centralising key databases such as the land registry and passports with digital technology. So instead of having to bribe an official to get a passport, you went to straight to the digital HQ where fees were flat and transparent. And like many Eastern European nations, it has embraced new tech and the digital revolution, both in its public bodies and in the private sector. One reason it's been able to reform and grow so quickly uh, is because it's small. It's also blessedly short of natural resources, so the country relies on trade. It's also something of an international transport corridor, especially for commodities. Kazakh uranium, for example, is only able to get to market because of Georgia. And it has important oil and gas pipelines. Its ports, notably Batumi and Poti, are operating at 100% capacity and the Chinese are now building a deep sea port there as well. Historical industries include gold mining. It was to Georgia, uh, or Colchis, as it was then known, that Jason and the Argonauts went in search of the Golden Fleece uh, way back when. Also wine production. It's a prolific wine producer today. So how to invest? There are, focused, there are no focused Georgia ETFs. But fortunately, there is another better option too, in fact, and very easy for investors in the UK, the US and the EU to buy. And those are Georgia's banks. 
And I'll put a link in the comments to my Substack in which you can find out more info uh, about those banks. You can find out their ticker and how to buy them and so on. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, don't forget my book. Don't forget my Edinburgh show. And don't forget to click all the links uh, in the description that will take you to all the places you need to go to. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, goodbye.